This video is all about adding ducking compression to a voiceover and a music track in order to have the music essentially duck down in volume every time that the voiceover comes in. And this is very popular in, um, in radio. You'll hear it on some voiceovers and commercials, etc. Um, and how we do this is by setting up a bus that we'll call a sidechain bus and we're going to send the du a duplicate signal of the voiceover on that bus and have it sent directly into a compressor which is put onto the music track and based on that signal from the voiceover it will make the compressor react and duck down in volume on the music track. So in order to set this up, um, I'm in the mixing board window here. You, ha you can see I have um, a few voiceovers and two pieces of music. I'm only working with the girl voiceover first and then the music A, but um, we can copy these settings over as well as the guy comes in and the music B comes in as well. So if you listen to it without any sort of volume changes at all, I can't really hear her. And I'm going to turn down this um, music just a little bit so you can hear a little bit of what she's saying, but you don't hear any ducking because we haven't set it up yet. Boring brain and my son needs a chauffeur for his paperwork. I'm in my house with his bunny slippers with his... So how we want to do this first is I want to set up um, some buses and I want to label them. And I like to label the buses because it keeps things really clean, nice and organized, um, and that helps us have a really tidy session. So if I hit Shift U, which brings up our bundles menu, and go to our buses, you can see it's set up with bus 1 and 2 and bus 3 and 4 at the moment. And we can add as many of these as we'd like. But I'm just going to double click on bus num 1 and 2 and call it sidechain. And since um, that's all we're going to use right now, I'll just close this. And on my VO Girl, track in my send area, if I click on that now you can see that that bus has been relabeled sidechain and it's very nice, it comes up nice and labeled. And when we do this we want to make sure that we turn up the sidechain all the way up to start with. And as of right now that's just a duplicate signal and we don't have anywhere for it to go yet so we're not hearing this anywhere, we're just sending a signal and we have to tell that signal where we want it to go. So that signal is being sent, duplicate signal of the voiceover, and we want to send it into a compressor onto the music track. So let's put a compressor on the music A track. I'm going to use a solid bus compressor, but most compressors have a side chain um, option for them, so you can use whatever one you like. And when this comes up, as you can see, it's your pretty standard compressor. Um, and there's a spot right at the top here where it says sidechain. Pretty convenient. Um, and we want to activate that so our sidechain is picking up our sidechain bus. So this basically in essence says yes, we are sending a signal to the compressor and we want it to read that signal and react in a particular way. There's also um, the gain that we can turn on of the sidechain that's coming in. Now compressors work in a way um, for dynamic unity, so uh, they like to unify the dynamics of a piece of audio by making the distance between louds and softs smaller. So in essence, it sets what's called the threshold at a point in a dB value, and anything that gets louder than that threshold is then quieted in a certain ratio, so um, a certain amount, after it passes the threshold. So anything that's louder then gets quieter by a certain mathematical amount due to the ratio. And then everything just gets closer in volume. You turn all of that back up and everything as a result gets louder. So in order for our um, ducking compression to work, we need to set our ratio, our threshold, and our release, which um, is going to basically tell the compressor how long it wants to hold on and how you long, long you want the effect to last until we hear it um, ducking down at um, a point that we're really happy with. So again, the threshold is at what dB value um, everything is going to go down in volume and the ratio is going to be by how much volume um, it's reduced. So by a ratio of 4 to 1 it will be reduced um, by 4 times the amount of volume. 
And again, the release is how long the uh, effect will last of the compressor. So I'll play it again. Boring rain and my son needs a show for his paper. I'm in my house with the bunny slippers with a station wagon running out of gas. I don't need this at 6 a.m. Boring rain and my son needs a chauffeur for his paper route. I'm in my house coat and bunny slippers with a station wagon running out of gas. I don't need this at 6 a.m. Boring rain and my son needs a chauffeur for his paper route. I'm in my house coat and bunny slippers with a station wagon running out of gas. I don't need this at 6 a.m. And as you can see, when the voice comes in, the music is going down. When the voice goes away, the music comes back up. Pouring rain and my son needs a chauffeur for his paper route. I'm in my house coat and bunny slippers with a station wagon running out of gas. I don't need this at 6 a.m. And you want to mess with this until um, it sounds good to you, um, so it doesn't sound too jittery or um, like it's jumping up and down too much. And um, find a setting that works for you. And this same technique can be used in a lot of different ways. Um, it's very, very common. Um, in electronic music, and again, you can use it in any DAW that you like.